A black hole image, or more specifically, its silhouette, circulated online in the spring of 2019. The press conference, when the scientific discovery's findings were announced, was simultaneously held in six places, including Washington, Brussels, and Tokyo. Find out what black holes are, what might happen to a person who enters one, where they originate, and why these enigmatic things have captured our imagination for so long. Astral Dead End A black hole is a region of space-time with a gravitational pull so powerful that no electromagnetic energy or particles can escape from it. The event horizon is the term used to describe this region's edge. Black holes are the last step in the evolution of stars, according to astrophysics. Astrophysical black holes are tiny but incredibly large space objects that completely reject all electromagnetic waves, including light. For instance, a black hole that researchers have detected in the far-off galaxy M87 is around the size of our solar system. Its mass exceeds that of the Sun by 6.5 billion times. Scientists can distinguish between stellar mass, intermediate mass, and supermassive black holes using this indicator. How Black Holes Develop and Vanish The last stage of the evolution of big stars is the formation of black holes. After such a star runs out of hydrogen-helium fuel, it starts to compress due to internal pressure caused by the release of energy during fusion reactions, and under the force of gravity it quickly collapses into a massive non-radiating object that we can see, for instance, in a close binary system because of the accretion disk formed by the flow of the companion star's material on it. Less massive black holes found in the galactic centers merge to create supermassive black holes. This technique presupposes that the combined masses of the predecessors will roughly match the mass of the final item. These objects can also be created by the star cluster's largest stars fusing. Energy is emitted from the event horizon. There are streams of particles that release into the surrounding space as a result of the quantum effects on it. In honor of the British theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking, who initially described this phenomena, it is known as Hawking radiation. Even though matter cannot leave the event horizon, this radiation causes a black hole to progressively evaporate. It will eventually become lighter and vanish. Between two black holes. What awaits a person crossing the event horizon is unknown to science. Will he or she be split apart by tidal forces rather than sucked into a black hole? Or will they discover a bookcase's back wall there, as in the American science fiction movie Interstellar? The BBC Earth correspondent Amanda Gefter asserts in a piece that was widely read in 2015 that reality will be split in two by the time a person reaches the event horizon. He or she will perish instantly in one reality while descending uninjured and living into a black hole in another. The truth is that no medium, that is, any physical body, including a human, can transcend the horizon of events and must stay outside it, otherwise, all knowledge will be lost to our world. This is because of the laws of physics. However, according to the laws of physics, a person or any other body must also pass the horizon alive and undamaged, without running into any strange or harmful events. The general theory of relativity will be broken if this doesn't happen. The paradox of the disappearance of information in a black hole is the name given by scientists to this contradictory combination. American physicist Leonard Susskind came to the conclusion that there are only two human states that can be explained in terms of the experiences of individuals who enter black holes and those who witness them. They won't ever cross paths again, therefore they won't be able to compare their observations. Physical laws are thus not broken. Distorting time and space indefinitely. Space-time begins to distort as you get closer to the black hole and eventually becomes indefinitely warped there. The gravitational singularity is this location. All known principles of physics no longer apply to explain space and time since, strictly speaking, the fundamental ideas of space and time in it cease to have any sense. The science of interstellar author Kip Thorne, who served as the film's scientific advisor, likens the way space bends to an ant bouncing on a trampoline. 
Imagine a man, ant, who resides on a large stone in the center of a child's trampoline, the universe. The space of our universe bends around a heavy object in a similar way to how a trampoline surface might under its weight. The theory of relativity's formulas describe how time and space are related, and they also describe how time is distorted. Not as dark as you thought. According to Stephen Hawking's hypothesis, black holes emit particles and are not entirely black. A black hole actually has no color, which only signifies that anything that falls into it never returns. Only when it is surrounded by radiating matter, such as gas or a nearby star's material that has been pulled by a gigantic object, can we view it. We can see two black holes merging thanks to gravitational waves. After years of processing data gathered by radio telescopes all across the world, the Event Horizon Telescope project was able to get the first image of a black hole. Because the incident occurred in a radio frequency spectrum to which the human eye is insensitive, the colors on the image are arbitrary. The Space Telescope Science Institute STSCI, estimates that one out of every thousand stars has enough mass to develop into a black hole. Since there are more than 100 billion stars in the Milky Way, there must be 100 million black holes in our galaxy. Though it can be challenging to find black holes, NASA estimates that the Milky Way may contain up to a billion stellar black holes. The Unicorn Black Hole, which is 1,500 light years from Earth, is the nearest one to our planet. The moniker has two distinct meanings. The black hole candidate is almost unique due to its extremely low mass, which is roughly three times that of the Sun, as well as the fact that it is located in the constellation Monoceros, the unicorn. Black holes are not bad. The big black hole is most clearly not a vacuum, which is what causes suction. Instead, like with everything that has gravity acting on it, like the Earth, items fall into them. Cygnus X1 is the first object that has been identified as a black hole. In a casual bet made in 1974 between Stephen Hawking and scientist Kip Thorne, Hawking bet that the source of Cygnus X1 was not a black hole. 1990 saw Hawking admit defeat. Black holes are still a great subject for science fiction literature and film. Check out Interstellar, which significantly incorporated science thanks to Thorne. Scientists now have a better idea of how far away stars might seem when seen close to a rapidly rotating black hole because to Thorne's work with the film's special effects crew. The Space Telescope Science Institute STSCI, estimates that one out of every thousand stars has enough mass to develop into a black hole. Since there are more than 100 billion stars in the Milky Way, there must be 100 million black holes in our galaxy. Though it can be challenging to find black holes, NASA estimates that the Milky Way may contain up to a billion stellar black holes. The Unicorn Black Hole, which is 1,500 light years from Earth, is the nearest one to our planet. The moniker has two distinct meanings. The black hole candidate is almost unique due to its extremely low mass, which is roughly three times that of the Sun, as well as the fact that it is located in the constellation Monoceros, the unicorn. Stellar black holes, supermassive black holes, and intermediate black holes are the three categories of black holes that astronomers have so far identified. Stellar black holes. A star may collapse or fall into itself when it has used up all of its fuel. The new core of smaller stars, those with masses up to around three times that of the Sun, will eventually transform into a neutron star or white dwarf. But as a bigger star disintegrates, it keeps getting smaller and smaller until it forms a stellar black hole. Supermassive Black Holes Although there are many little black holes in the cosmos, supermassive black holes predominate. Although they are millions or even billions of times more massive than the Sun, the diameter of these giant black holes is around the same. It is hypothesized that such black holes, including the Milky Way, are at the heart of almost every galaxy. Intermediate Black Holes Intermediate black holes such bodies might develop as a result of repeated collisions between stars in a cluster. If several of these IMBHs develop in the same area, they might eventually collide to generate a supermassive black hole in the galaxy's center.
Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and tell your friends about it so we can make more like it. Click the subscribe button to see more content like this and don't forget to activate the notification bell. Check watch our other videos as well if you haven't already. Thank you for viewing.